guys, welcome back to day 15 of online art enrichment. For today's suggested art activity, we are going to be making mosaics out of cereal and snack boxes. Before we get started, here is some of the artwork that I received over the weekend. Thank you to everyone who sent me artwork. I really, really appreciate it and it looks awesome. So for today's little art activity, you're going to need some cereal or snack boxes. So I have my cereal box here. Um, you can use smaller ones like this, whatever you can find. We are going to be cutting them up. You will need some scissors and that's about the only supply that you'll need. If you do want to make this a little bit more permanent and you would like to keep it, you can get some glue to glue it down later. But if you don't have glue, that's okay. You can just assemble everything, take a picture of it, and then you're good. All right, so I have my two boxes here. You can use as many as you want. If you have more and you think that you'll need more, maybe with different colors, then you can use those. The first thing that we want to do is make the shape for our mosaic. So right here, I just have a few different ideas that you could do. Obviously, you're not limited to these. So if you think of a different shape that you want to do, go ahead and do that. For example, you can do a moon, a heart, a house shape. This is a flower. For this rainbow here, you would need all the colors of the rainbow to complete that. I just did a simple triangle here, but think of the different things that you can make with a triangle, such as a pizza or a watermelon slice. And these shapes down here are a little bit more complex, but you're welcome to do them as well. So this one's a cat, this is a dog, this one is a UFO. Now for my shape, I'm going to do a fish. So the first thing that you want to do, you're going to want to take one of your boxes and cut it up. So you're going to use one side of your box for the base. So I'm going to use the back of my cereal box here for my base shape. I might want to draw it on my box first just so I know where I'm cutting. So that is, I'm going to do thin and thin. All right, so that's my base shape for my fish. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Here is my fish shape. So with the rest of my cereal or snack boxes that I have left over, I'm going to go ahead and cut these up into small pieces. Here are all the pieces that I have cut up. If you would like to, if it makes things easier, you can separate them by colors. It depends on the design that you want to do. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're just going to lay down all of your pieces onto your shape. Again, if you want to make things a little bit more permanent, you can use glue to glue everything down so it doesn't move. So these are the sizes of my shapes. They're not too big. They're not too small either. If they're too big, you're only going to have a couple pieces on your shape. If they're too small, then you're going to have a hard time gluing them down or it's just going to take you forever. So make them in the middle, medium size, not too big, not too small. When you're gluing everything or when you're placing down your shapes, try to make sure that your shapes do not touch. So you can see as I'm gluing this, I'm leaving tiny little spaces or gaps in between. Don't make the gaps too big because otherwise it's going to be a lot of empty space. But try not to make them touch either so that it doesn't look too busy or too crowded. Like I always tell you guys, dot dot, not a lot. We don't want a whole mess of glue on our shape or on our table.
finished mosaic. Again, if you don't have any glue, that's fine. You can just take a picture of it from above and then just send me that picture. Make sure that you clean up all of your mess afterwards. If you have a whole bunch of leftover pieces, you can make another one if you want to. You can make a different shape and use the rest of your pieces. I hope you guys had fun with today's activity. Make sure you send me pictures. I love seeing what you're working on. Also, remember you can follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with what I'm doing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!